So when I sat down to uh, listen to my grandfather's stories and then begin to tell them in these songs, I don't think either of us really had an idea of the impact it would have on, on me, on him, on our relationship together. But he, uh, we all have some small part of our story, at least, that wants to be told and that we want to have preserved. And he wasn't unique in that way, and nor was his story of growing up in time of war or coming of age in occupation. Um, that sadly isn't unique even today. Um, so, yeah, I didn't just find a way to tell these stories and, and save his history for the family, for him, but I stumbled on this process. We stumbled on this process together in telling this universal story in a way that was preserved and went out into the world forever. So, um, the first song we'll play is called Honesty is on Fire. And it's about his experience of watching uh, American planes bomb German targets within the south of France and the sort of emotional turmoil of that, uh, that this part of the liberation was the destruction of his homeland. The second and last song we'll play for you is called Pink Wine, and this is really uh, a celebration of, of music as revolution. During the occupation of World War II, uh, Hitler had outlawed music and dance um, in the south of France. Basically, you weren't allowed to play music, you weren't allowed to have dances, and my grandfather and his friends and many people across the country would sneak out into a friend's barn or go to an apartment somewhere, and if they had a violin or an accordion or both, uh, they would sing and dance and have a party, and that was the revolution, so. I was born in the dim glow of autumn light with the tune of an and the taste for pink wine As a young man 
my legs they learn to dance and my lips at any chance would steal a little bit of innocence but my clothes they were hand sewn some of my food was even stolen but that was how we learned to live then what did you expect this was occupation Salud 